Hi, I'm Marcus from Scene There, and today I'll talk about how you can use our companion app for mobile uh, to add interactivity to your 360 videos. And you can use the companion app in two ways. You can either use it uh, while you're recording your 360 videos, and it will then capture the GPS data and metadata for, uh, for you, uh, or you can use it on existing 360 videos that you already have, and then you need to add them into the app. And that's what I will talk about today. So we're I have shot some videos from Thailand uh, with this GoPro Omni, and I will create a tour of that in the app. So let's go ahead and start creating a tour by clicking in the lower corner. We'll call it Magic Beach. So let's add the first point to the map. And the easiest way to add them is that you add them in the same order as the files are sorted when they're sorted alphabetically on your PC. And I normally have a uh, three digits index number in the beginning of each file so that they're always sorted uh, in the chronological order when I sort them alphabetically. But that index number can be any number. It can be the sequence number from your camera or it could be the date or anything like that. But it's good to have a number system for them. So let's, the first one here is from the beach. So let's go ahead and add that one to the, here, let's add it as a spot. And you're gonna now land on a map and the first point will be on the position where you are right now. And this is a normal map so you can use two fingers to scroll it out and then you long press on the marker and you move it to Thailand and then zoom in to the place where you shot the video. So it was here and let's zoom in. And you can also turn the map with two fingers um, and then long press and then mark it there. And you can select, since there are no roads here, you can select the satellite mode. It's easier to see things and right there. And we're going to give this a name like beach huts. And this name of the spot will not show up in the final product. So it's just for you to remember uh, when you're matching the spots with the video files. Uh, next, what we're going to do is to add the direction that the camera was looking. And that might sound confusing because the 360 camera sees in all directions, right? But each camera always has a zero point, which is, uh, you can see it in the video here. Uh, it is the point in the middle of the video when you watch it in a normal video player. So right here. In this specific case we have some huts here and those huts are uh, uh, straight opposite the direction of the sea. So on the map here you will see that it's, it's up northwest. And so we're going to go ahead and, and, um, and type that in using the slider. So we turn the slider to northwest. Uh, in the same direction as the video here. And sometimes it can be hard to find the compass direction, but you can make use of looking at landmarks uh, such as houses, uh, or you can look at the beach or the nature, and sometimes you can also use the sun to figure out the direction. And then you just use the slider to type it in. Okay, we go ahead and add one more point. So go back with the back key, and then add one more point. And then the next point will be uh, right here, which is in the middle of the beach. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to drag that point. And now you see that there's a red line connecting the two. And that red line means that there's going to be a link between the two. So when you're watching it in VR, you're going to see a blue dot between these points. And you can turn that link on and off by clicking on the point that it's linking on. And by the way, these links are uh, do both directions. So uh, you're also going to have uh, you're going to have links on both directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that point right here in the middle of the beach, and we're going to call it middle of beach, and then the direction of that one is going to be. So this one is you have the center right here which is by the cliffs. So let's go ahead and type that in. That should be pretty much like, like east or something. And then we go back. Uh, 
Okay, I've now added seven points and now is a good time to look over all the links and make sure that the links between all the points are uh, correct. And so you do that by going into each point and seeing which links appear and clicking on the other points that you want to be visible for that point. The next thing is to upload all the videos and you do that by pressing the upload videos and then get URL and this will generate a, a folder on our servers where you can upload all the video files and it doesn't matter which order you're uploading the video files it just matters that they are in the same alphabetic order as the spots that you have uh, created on the app and so the you can click the link in the app and you will get a uh, upload interface here on the web. And usually you can take this link and just copy paste it and send it to yourself to your desktop if you want to upload from your desktop or unless you want to upload it from your mobile. So once all the video files are uploaded to the server, you can go ahead back to the app and press refresh file list and that will fetch an, a list of all the video files that you've uploaded in alphabetic order and uh, uh, they will now be matched to the uh, points that you've created in the app and uh, that, that, that's why it's important that it's a one-to-one -one match between video files and points in the app and if that is not correct uh, then you will see that there is it will say something like file missing and then you can adjust that by adding a new going back and adding a new point to your app or you can add another upload another video file so you can correct it and if the order is not correct you can now adjust it by long pressing on the object and dragging it to the right order um, and you will see that the file name under the point name will be updated as you drag so that's an easy way to adjust it and once you're done matching the files you can go back and press upload tour and you will now be able to select which ones you want to upload and probably you want to upload all of them uh, and you will be able to fill in your email as well so that we can associate that uh, content with you and then once that's uploaded to the servers you go to the final step and press request processing that will open up the email browser and you'll be able to send an email to our engine and ask us to process the files and we'll try to get back to you within uh, an hour or at the latest uh, within one day and uh, with a link to the ready production so by the time our engine has done all the processing we'll send you back a link and that link is uh, possible to open in a, a web browser preferably uh, chrome uh, and you will now see that your 360 videos are interactive so you can click around on the blue dots and you can see all the points on this amazing magic beach in thailand and uh, if you see that you've got something uh, wrong in the videos or you, you missed out a spot or you misplaced the direction or something, you can go back into the app and update that and then uh, request processing again and you'll get uh, back the same link with an updated uh, world. And um, once you feel that you're done with the world and that it looks good on the web, then you can request to get it sent as a VR app for Gear VR. And that's really when it's uh, that's the, when the fun starts because the the VR is so immersive and it's really meant to be explored with the interaction. So uh, please give us some feedback on if this works for you and how it works so that we can improve. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So let's let's virtualize things, go out and do fun things. Thanks.